9.3, that's this one. Number six. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the data below are yields for two different types of corn seed that were used on adjacent plots of land. Assume that the data are simple random samples and that the differences have a distribution that is approximately normal. Okay. Ah. Construct a 95% confidence interval estimate for the difference between type one and type two yields. What does the confidence interval suggest about farmer Joe's claim that type one seed is better than type two seed? Ah. Okay, so yield means like how much corn you get from your seeds. Okay. You know, if you plant a seed, you're hoping to get more corn than less. More. Yeah. And um, right. What I, as I reread the paragraph, yeah. what I'm checking for is are these matched pairs or not? Do you know what I mean when I say matched pairs? Yeah. Yeah, what does that mean? Uh, to my thinking, I think they should be they should be the same, but I'm not sure. Yeah. You're sure yeah, so they're not necessarily going to be the same number. Mm -hmm. But they 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 come together. Okay. Like so you see how like the 2094 yield for type 1 seed? Yeah. Does it, does it does it does it match is it matched with the type 2 2013 or can I match it with the or does it or does it like could it go with any one of these and I think the, the answer to, to decide whether they match pairs or not I think it's coming from this first sentence mm -hmm. in particular at the very end of the sentence it says these are corn seeds that were used on adjacent yeah so you know what the word adjacent means adjacent yeah i think they are um, not e the same numbers yeah it just means that they're next to each other oh adjacent plots of land if if you if you're if you're sitting next to someone in class yeah then you are adjacent oh to that person in the same way if you have adjacent plots of land that means you have an area for um, for, for one seed and then right next to it is an area for another type of seed. Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So type, the seed type one had a, a yield of 2094. For type two seed, it had a yield of 2013. The point is that these were two fields that were next to each other or mm -hmm. adjacent plots of land. Whereas this other pair of numbers, the 2011 and the 1996, those are the yields for the same two seeds, type one and type two, but it's, these are different fields that are also adjacent to each other. The point is that these are matched pairs. So when comparing two samples, that was, I think I remember going over this the other day. Yeah. We're, are we comparing one population proportion, two population proportions? Are we comparing one population mean, two population means? Is it one population standard deviation? Is it a contingency table? Which one are we dealing with here? Mm. Two population? Yep. Are we looking at two population means or are we looking at two population proportions? I would say proportions. Hmm, let's see. Proportions, two population proportions. Why proportions? Because I think the number we are given is they are not the mean. Hmm, true. You're right. The, these are not means. 
but um, but they're not proportions either. Oh. Right. It would only be a proportion if I could, you know, add them up and divide by the total that's there, or something like that. It might be possible to interpret this as proportions, but I think what they want us to do, mm -hmm. especially there, there's a big clue right here. You see that mu sub d? Yeah. So there's a mean. Mu is for mean, p is for proportion. Mm. So for this reason, we're gonna say it's two population means and not two population proportions, okay? Yeah. And then even there, are we dealing with matched pairs or unmatched pairs? See that? Yeah. Well, we talked about why it's matched pairs. Yeah. And so the suggestion on this cheat sheet is to use um, L, the, the lists in your calculator. So I'm going to be, I'm going to begin there. I'm coming back to the problem. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to stat, um, edit. Okay. Yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let L1 be seed type one. So I'm going to enter the 2094. And then the next row will be the next plot of land for also for seed type one. And I'll just keep going on down the list. 24, 36, um, 2307, got 2002. 2132 and 1553. That makes sense? Yeah. And then paired with that is going to be the type two. So you see how like that the plot of land that had a yield of 2094 with seed mm -hmm. one? Yeah. To be paired with that, it's important that I have the right number next to the right number. I'm going to enter mm -hmm. 2013. And I'll keep doing that down the list. In forty one. Did you do that? Yes. Okay. So the advice I was giving on the, on the sheet is, we're gonna calculate L3, which will be L2 minus L1. I think, uh, let me see if I'm, uh, I wanna be consistent here. It says the, in this example, mu sub D is the mean value of the differences D, D's for difference, meaning subtraction, for the population of all pairs where each individual difference is defined as the type one seed minus the type two seed. Oh, you know what? Mm -hmm. Because it, based on this sentence, yeah, I'm not going to follow my advice. Okay. Okay, because it says here L3 equals L2 minus L1. That would be the type two seed mm -hmm. minus the type one seed. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I have to adapt, and because it, because it, it specifies that D is the type one seed minus the type two seed. And the order matters when you're subtracting. Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So can you see what I'm about to do? Yeah. Is that what you were thinking? Yeah, we, we did this before. Yep. Yeah, and you can see that when I do L1 minus L2, all of these are differences. Mm -hmm. but whenever the difference is positive, that tells me that L1 was bigger than L2. And whenever the difference was negative, that tells me that L2 was bigger than L1. And at a glance, I can see that most of the time, L1, the seed one had a 
higher yield in seed two, with only one exception. Yeah. So if I had to guess, um, I would say it, it does seem to be a better seed. But then again, maybe the difference is just due to sampling error. So we're going to do a little more work just to make sure. So I'm going to go to stat, calc. Actually, actually, I don't, I don't need to. Let me, let, let's just go straight to test, because I think that's the advice that I give on here, is that if I'm, actually, you know what? Are they asking us to test a claim, or are they asking us to, they're asking for a 95% confidence interval. Yeah. So I guess I can just instead go to, I want to construct a confidence interval. So we'll go to stat, tests, T interval. Where did my calculator go? Stat, tests, oh, that's the eighth option down here. Now, I don't have, in this case, I don't have any data. Yeah. I, mean, I, don't, I, don't have this, I don't have the summary statistics, okay? But yeah. what I do have is the raw data, okay? Mm -hmm. So in, in this case, I'm not going to choose stat, so I'm going to choose data. And then for lists, it's the numbers that I'm going to use to do the analysis. What should go right here? I'll give you a hint. It's not L1. L2. It's not L2 either. Remember, oh. L1 was seed one. Mm -hmm. L2 was seed two. But what I'm really doing the analysis on is the distribution of. So it's L3? Yeah, because L3 is where all the differences are. And I want to do this with a confidence level of 95, it looks like. Yeah, 95. And what I can see is that the difference, that, so what you see is this 18.9 and this 94.0, like that's an interval for the difference. In other words, it would be realistic to get a difference in that range. Okay. So if I round to two decimal places, that would be nine three and zero seven, I think. Okay. Yeah. Now, what does this suggest about Farmer Joe's claim that the type one seed is better than the type two seed? Remember, mm -hmm. this is a the confidence interval of differences. You see how sometimes the difference was 81? Yeah. Sometimes the difference was 15. One time the difference was negative 11. Yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah. But the difference was always, um, on average, was somewhere between 18.9 and 94.07. Now, there's something I said before. What does it mean when the difference is positive? When the difference is positive? Yes. The L1 was bigger than the L2. Good, 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 good. So, I'll, I'm gonna repeat what you said. When the difference is positive, seed one mm -hmm. was better than seed two. And what does it mean when the difference is negative? Seed two was bigger than the seed one. That's right. That's right. So it really matters whether it's positive or negative. Now, the confidence interval tells you 
what is likely. Yeah. And what do you notice about the likely values? The word I'm looking for is that they're all positive or all negative. All positive. Yeah. So the point is that there are no negative numbers in this confidence interval. Meaning it's very unlikely. It's very unlikely that uh, zero is going to be in the confidence interval. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it's very unlikely. There's enough, there is sufficient evidence to say that, um, that the difference is not zero. And that's exactly what Farmer Joe's claim is. Farmer Joe's claim is that type one seed is? Better than yeah. type two seed. He's saying that the difference isn't zero, mm -hmm. right? Because yeah. if the difference was zero, then the, the, the two seeds would be the same. Yeah. So which of these four choices is the correct answer? I think uh, because the confidence interval only includes positive values and does not include zeros, mm -hmm. there, there is sufficient evidence to support Farmer Joe's cream. Yep, yep, exactly. I think you're right. And I think that's the last part of this question, right? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Where were you getting stuck? Uh, basically on the part for the T interval. Ah, yeah, okay. I was not able to go like all the way. I was able to key in the tables, but I was not able to get the numbers. I the see. less than and the bigger number. I see. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool.